Oh, hey guys, uh, Hess here. Got a video for you guys. Got to sh show you guys a couple pickups that I got from the Nike employee store. And this is about $2,000 out of pocket. Uh, but they had so much stuff in there, I had so much fun shopping around that uh, I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up. So let's go ahead and check out the video. Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. And if you missed my video the other day, I posted these, which I got on sale for $130 on Nike's website. If you use the code SPORT30, it saves you 30% off of your entire order. And these ones are fire, man. I showed you guys what these were on feet. I really, really like uh, this colorway of the shoe. But let's go ahead and show you guys this crazy haul that I got right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out of their boxes. So this is the entire haul that I picked up. Uh, lots and lots of pairs of sneakers here and a lot of stuff that I honestly am surprised they had. It was just like a random stock day when they got some of these things and some of the things you can tell from the boxes of what these are. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so starting off from the far left side, you can see we have a box that looks pretty familiar to some. This is the Man in the Woods Justin Timberlake collaboration and uh, this is crazy. They actually had these in stock. So when they had these for 40% off, I was like, just blown away. I could not believe that they actually had them in. But this is the beginning of this haul, man. Uh, like this was a crazy come up sort of uh, day. And I didn't just get one pair of these. I actually got two pairs of the shoes because they didn't set a limit at one, which they usually do. So I was actually pretty stoked about that. So I got a double up of these, which uses the blow of getting my first pair of these uh, over retail. But retail price on these are 250 though. Look at the size of this receipt. I mean, it's kind of crazy. So not a terrible start to the haul. Moving on, show you guys a pair of Kyries. And this is a Kyrie 5, and on the box it says All-Star TV. I don't know why it says that, but here is the shoe. Now my original pair of Kyries that I bought, I got a size 9.5, and, and I should have got a size 10. Uh, personally just for my feet so I got a size 10 of these this was one of those colorways that I saw and I was like super stoked about but then I never bought them and then when I saw them in the employee store there that comes with free paper on the sole traction must be good on these things uh, when I saw these at the employee store I was like yep I gotta I gotta buy those ones because this is a super dope colorway the hits of neon are just super fresh and talk about a dope like summer shoe and look at the reverse swoosh across the entire thing which is super rad says Rocket on the back of the shoe. I'm surprised it didn't say Rocket on the box because I thought it was like the Rocket collab, but uh, but it says TV on it. Kind of has a Superman Jordan 4 vibe to it a little bit, just with the neon blues and reds, but uh, these are just crazy dope. Like one of the best uh, Kyrie 5s, in my opinion, that released. They did a really good job on this one, in my opinion. So that was the second pair or third pair. Another wild one, they have some Dornbecker sneakers there. They had a couple different ones, even the Air Jordan 14s in the GS sizes and a couple of the others, 97s and whatnot. But this is the one that I wanted originally that uh, I did not get for the wife. Um, and it's the Air Force One. And you can see more about the patient here on the inside. Now this is actually one of the first years that I didn't go in the last like five years to the Dornbecker event. It just didn't work out timing wise. Uh, so I don't know all of the stories as well as I normally do. But this is a cool colorway and I remember when um, I was waiting in line. These sold out like right before we got to the front of the line. But but here they are in my wife's size. So size seven and a half uh, for her. Super, super nice colorway and lots and lots of details uh, on this shoe. Moving on, we have a pair of Jordans in a interesting box. One that I uh, don't really know very well because I haven't seen this sort of snake skinny box before. But let's see what we have. So we have the Snakeskin Air Jordan 11 Low, and I was saying in another video that I really dig this colorway. It's an OG colorway and definitely one that people are sleeping on, uh, but uh, the prices on these are under retail right now. Retail on these are 185. Nice looking snakeskin on the shoe and uh, not too terrible looking. They actually had the pink ones as well, but I didn't end up buying a pair for the wife. All right, next up we have another pair of Air Jordan 11 Lows. And one that I totally forgot about. So I got a size 11, which is a 9.5 in men's. And this is really crazy in hand. 
So I believe this is like the Neymar collaboration. Um, I actually don't know a ton about it. I just remember seeing it. It was a weird release to see that they had these in stock. I have no idea why, but they did have them. So I was like, that's kind of cool. So I picked them up. Uh, people have been sleeping on LeBron's except for this pair right here. A lot of people were feeling this one. And it is because maybe it was a collab. It is in that cool Atmos um, Safari colorway. Really cool upper, how it has a nappy suede on it. And then you have that crazy LeBron midsole with all the visible zoom stacks all over the shoe. These are super fire though. As soon as I saw these, this was one that I was probably the most excited to see in store where I haven't seen them in person yet. I knew I wanted a pair of these. I've been watching them on like StockX. I've been also watching the blue pair really closely because the blue pair is just super, super dope. It looks like they grabbed the display model for me. Shout out to the Nike employees though. I don't have his name, but man, he went out and he actually took down my number, called me in store, asked me if I was still there because he had my size. Because I was there, I mean, it was like good 20 minutes before I ran into him again. Um, and then he uh, linked up with me and got me my size because they didn't have anything higher than like a size eight. So super stoked, look at that, I didn't see that before. The alternate swooshes on the back that are embroidered. All right, next up we have another pair of Air Jordans and this is a Jordan 1 with the Nike box here. And we have something that I actually struck out on um, this morning. So this is crazy because this is the Panda pair. They're calling it the Twist. Supposedly it's Derby inspired with like horse hair, but obviously if maybe the twist is that it's actually Panda, I don't really know why they're calling it what they are. It looks like a Panda to me, and if you can't tell, this is um, fur all over the, the shoe. So really dope in my opinion. I think that this is just a crazy looking Air Jordan 1. I did get the Panda SBs for myself. I also do have the Panda Dunks in the low tops that released a couple years ago for my kid. Um, and then I also ended up buying these for the wife online this morning, but I missed my size and they still had sizes when I went today. Uh, so super stoked on that. Uh, I know I'm a dude in their women's shoe, but sometimes you just gotta get uh, what you like. We're like halfway there already. So if you guys are enjoying the video, please give the video a thumbs up. A Nike box, a new shoe that ended up coming out that I was not honestly overly interested in until I saw them in person and I tried them on. So this is a Nike React Presto and it is a React midsole as you can see, mixed with the Presto like vibes on the entire upper. I'm not gonna go too deep into this shoe. I will be doing a detailed review of these separate thoughts on the shoe because of the change of the cage and just the overall design change of the Presto. You can see the B on the insole on this one, which is cool, and they had a panda on the blue colorway. But what do you guys think about these? Leave a comment in the comment section about these, actually, or any of the other shoes that you guys see in this video. So moving on, you can see the Fear of God box here, but it is not the mocks. I'm surprised they actually didn't have the mocks in because the mocks were pretty terrible. Uh, but they have, whoa, these are terribly worn. Oh man, I gotta return these straight out the box. These look like they've been worn for like three days. Uh, but I mean, I can't complain. Price on these were pretty cheap. The quality of these are actually pretty nice. I'm not really familiar with the Skyline 2 model. It's not one that I have a lot of legacy knowledge on, but uh, it's a sleeper in my opinion. How are you putting these back on the floor? Uh, that's, a, that's a bummer. Another Nike box. We have the collab with somebody that I don't know how to say his name. Biakuzu, I don't know, Undercover Lab. That's all I know. So these are crazy. These are the Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbos. Um, and you can see the, the name again on the uh, front of the shoe. Really wild uh, colorway. It's like really bright orange, black, and a little bit of that maroon. Zoom X with React, the Pegasus Turbo is definitely one of my favorite models uh, in recent times. It is my favorite model of 2018 and 2019 so far. Just such a great, Great shoe. Something that I didn't notice until now is check out the lacing on this shoe. Super rad how they changed it up, but also did the double um, lacing there, it looks like, the way that they kind of weaved it together. Looks cool. It looks like the shoe is pretty reflective as well. Still four more pairs here. Another pair in the orange box. I wanted another pair of these other than the collab, and so I bought the white colorway of the Pegasus uh, Turbo. Honestly, this is my fourth pair of these shoes and they're absolutely amazing for those that have not tried them out. Um, I can't rave about these shoes enough. For my feet personally, these things are a uh, super win. I like that this one's a little bit more incognito though with the white on white action going on here. How dope would it be to do the hydrographic print uh, just down the middle of that shoe? Maybe I'll do something like that. 
I'll figure out how to tape these up or figure out a custom maybe uh, on this. But this is just another pair that I needed. I just love the shoes. I know you guys can see the box, so here it is. They actually had these for under retail at 285. All right, so here they are. I already did a detailed review of these in a comparison to the Hyper Adapts, uh, but this is the Adapt BB basketball shoe. You gotta go up a half a size on these. They definitely fit really snug if you don't. And uh, man, I thought they would have the gray colorway, but not the black one, but crazy enough, they actually had the black colorway for under retail. So uh, there you have it. Kind of a big um, pickup, a big come up. And for those that don't know, these are the self-lacing ones that you tighten down and stuff, but the battery is completely dead. These have probably been sitting for a while now. So I've got to charge these up. There's a charging pad that they go on and they charge. This is a surprisingly comfortable shoe for a, a basketball shoe and especially one that's functional with uh, the self-lacing laces. And that is uh, another one of the pickups. The so last couple um, of pickups I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so I got a white hoodie. I was trying to get a white tech fleece, uh, but they did not have one, but I bought this white hoodie here. Retail is $45. You guys already know what I'm gonna do with these. I have a ton of different ice dyes that I'm gonna do. Got a lot of different colors. So I'm gonna do a bunch of different color combinations. I think this one's gonna work really, really well. Probably regret not buying two. But I have some Nike ones, some Adidas ones, and I'm excited to do some more of the ice dyes uh, for you guys and just really for me, just for fun to be able to wear. So that was the only piece of clothing that I got. But here is something that was ridiculous that they had in stock also. Uh, they had some Levi Jordan 4s. And I know this isn't the most desired colorway, but regardless, like, but getting these from the Nike employee store for 40% off was ridiculous. I just was like shocked. As soon as I went down the aisle, I was like, what in the world am I looking at? Levi 4s and all sorts of stuff. I should have taken a picture of the aisle, but I didn't want to uh, draw extra attention to myself. But, uh, but yeah, pretty crazy come up. And as you can see, I didn't just get one. I bought a second pair there. They didn't have limit one, which was crazy. They must have just really wanted to move the inventory, uh, so they allowed more pairs than one. So I took advantage. I was like, I might as well buy another one. They actually had limit three, so I could have bought three pairs of those, three pairs of the Atmos, three pairs of the Adapt BBs. Like, honestly, I could have bought three pairs of any of them, even the, the Timberlakes. So crazy, but I, I wanted to get a couple doubles, but I wanted to leave some for some other people as well. But that is the last item uh, that I picked up. So. Ah, uh, yikes. Anyways, that is the haul. It's a pretty crazy looking haul. I ended up buying quite a few things this time around. So that is all of the shoes you could see laid out in front of you guys. What do you guys think about the uh, Rewild the Kitchen? Maybe leave a comment, let me know. Check out this. Uh, why is having a new faucet so exciting to me? And this fancy new sink. And uh, we did the backsplash back here. And also new appliances here. And there's my whiskey up here. For those that want to see the whiskey collection, there's my whiskey collection right here, uh, along with all of my glassware. And then also for the wife, we got some uh, some wine. But this is a look at the kitchen, kind of remodeled a little bit. Kind of a big deal, took, took a little bit of money. Got a new table coming here next week that we have to replace the little card table there. And the house is a disaster, as you can see. But I also, one of the other things that I did, so you guys can see, let's check this out. I also built a trampoline for Harris and it doesn't look very big, but it is uh, a 12 footer. And then I also have my Green Mountain Grill smoker, my Weber, and then I built a little shed back here that I'm super proud of because I took for friggin' forever and I'm not very handy. But uh, yeah, man, this is just kind of a look at the house while I have you guys for a little bit of a tour. And look at all this craziness. What a crazy crazy day but uh but that is the video hopefully you guys enjoyed we'll leave you guys with a final look at all the flames on the downdraft stove just kidding we'll have a good rest of the day we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon peace guys